Hello, my name is Mitch and I draw Blood Force, and today we're going to take a look at page three of issue three of Blood Force. <laughs> so just before we get started here, if you enjoy the channel, if you think you might want to support me a little bit as an artist, uh, best thing to do is to open up the description. There's a couple of links there. One is to my Patreon, and if you subscribe there, that'll give you access to all the Blood Force stuff, all the pages, uh, all these videos before they get uploaded to YouTube, etc. So let's get into it here. This is page three, which is the second half of a double page spread. If you watched last week's video, you saw how page two came out. Uh, we're not going to, I'm not going to show the whole thing here. So this is actually going to be a shorter one because most of this particular video is just showing hard the, the character here that I'm drawing. And this is of course hard and fireburn uh, versus cyber zerk whilst shock block looks on and yells things, which could be a theme in Blood Force. I'm not for sure yet. I wouldn't be surprised. That's That seems like it could be a common dynamic. And of course, got this great pose for Cyber Zerk here. We won't be looking at this too much today, because why, why would we? It's, it's very cool, but yeah, we've seen it before. It's old news. All right, so let's flesh out hard here a little bit. And this is, of course, when we thought that uh, Fireburn would be shooting basically under Hard's arm here. Which is not how things turned out, of course. I thought this head turned out pretty well. It's uh, just kind of well proportioned, and I don't know. It's it's not. It's it's one of those angles that's always just a little bit tough. You know, you, you, I can usually find it eventually, but it it always takes a little bit of fucking around with. It's a pain in the ass. You get my formulas going. You know, that's it's one of those things. I do remember, like, you know, yeah, how you're supposed to do it. With the, I don't know, you, you, you get the, the tube where, where you cut it into thirds and all that, and, and it's still like, eh, it doesn't quite look right. But, you know, like I said, you can usually find it eventually. All right, so we've got a pretty good idea of what the overall picture is going to look like, and now we're going to take page two away, I believe. We should, theoretically. So that we can work on page three. We got page two done. We don't need to see this anymore. Yeah, there's that blast. It's a decent looking blast. It's just it. You know, there wasn't much chance of him hitting fire or uh, hitting Cyber's Earth there, really. Uh, he just basically hit hard, which is kind of funny in itself, but it, it wasn't scripted, so it just would have looked weird. And yeah, we'll get a basic outline for Cyber's Earth here. So that everything matches up reasonably well. There will be a little bit of uh, translation issue when I do eventually get to inking page three here. But I think for the most part it ends up pretty good. And yeah, some good basic outlines there. It's always nice when you get your outline. It's like, oh, that's like the picture. Only like, you know, less detailed. Good. I don't have to keep adding to this to make it look all right. It already looks reasonably okay. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ink we're gonna ink Fireburn, even though it's it's not the right post, but that's okay. We'll fix that. Yeah, so there we go. Page two has been inked. Now we can get right into page three here. And uh, yeah, maybe one of the main concerns here is getting the lighting on hard. Just kind of trying to figure out where to go with that. I think this is post my uh, Portacio uh, hog stab. So I'm starting to consider a couple of extra things in here. Just like how to do different light sources. That kind of thing. Getting a bit more detail in on everything. Because I was, you know, that's, 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 a, that's a main concern. When trying to do an image thing. Mostly these pockets. My pockets are not detailed enough, generally speaking. That is the one thing I could learn from uh, from Liefeld. So now we're gonna, yeah, like look at all, because this is, like I said, the hard, uh, the biggest I've drawn hard before. So we're gonna get all sorts of muscle striation going on. Pretty good uh, neck stretches there. And 
and of course this is uh so the shadow is largely being cast by the laser blast here and that kind of ends up looking all right i think at this point i was eyeballing the dale keown piece uh his hulk piece to to do a version of hard so i was thinking about how he did the shadows under the neck in that and i think i, I kind of replicated that a little bit and yeah trying to get a fair amount of black going in here yeah get some twist on the torso i think that ended up looking pretty good and also trying to underlight here and then this is uh this is all wills here all these extra thigh muscles and like i don't even know what the fuck i'm doing here really just like I think that that there was a bit too much black there, but that's okay. It's it's not like it's a problem or anything. And then, yeah, let's hatch off those metal undies. I think I, I will even the little bit of white space there. I will kind of get rid of just because it, it's a little. It looks a little bit like that's sticking out, which it shouldn't be. I like these shapes. These uh, shadow shapes here. It's not really my usual thing. And I think it ended up looking kind of cool, actually. And here, I think here is where I find out they don't quite match up 100% for some reason. But that's generally just generally how it goes, you know. Yeah, and get some, uh, again, pretty well-shaded bands here. I like how these turned out. The fist is like, eh, it's okay. It feels, it, I don't know, that, that it's tough to make that angle look good. Like, you can make it look realistic, but it's tough to make it look detailed, you know? And, and still look decent. So that's, yeah. Okay. So that is, yeah, hard and the, uh, and the laser blast there. And the impact, and that's like most of this page now. We got a little bit of ceiling stuff to do, and a little bit of wall stuff, and that's uh, that's kind of all we'll need, I think. Yeah. So just continuing that ceiling stuff, and not recognizing quite yet that it's too too busy, and you need to maybe tone it down a little bit. And I'm gonna have to put something on that far right there, and I think it went a little overboard. All right, so this is a desk here. Put something resembling a monitor, and because we're in a lab, I believe I'm going to put a Bunsen burner on that desk as well. I don't know if you'll if you'll really be able to notice it, but or if it'll be noticeable in the finished product. It may it may not be. Yeah, there it is. And fill in a bunch of tech behind it so that, well, I mean, you know, partially because it's the wall. It needs to be there and partially to, to kind of camouflage it a little bit. But it's a lab. A lab needs a Bunsen burner. That's, that's, just, that's just math. Right? Do you do math in labs? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm filling in under hard here, which is just, yeah, like, way to go. Okay. You, you forgot. There you go. And yeah, this stuff here, yeah, I, I did end up going uh, a bit overboard on. And again, using that brush pen too much. This should all be microns. Maybe I'll, like you know, just if you if you make something black and then yeah, you want to fill it in, okay, then use a brush pen. But everything else should be microns here. At least it's for the most part. It's actually not bad. There's a, there's a lot of detail in there. Fuck. I wonder why. <laughs> and this is like uh, pretty much the last of it here, right? Well, I mean, you know, there's the, the desk here to Hard's right, so we'll have to do something with that. So put a scorch mark on it. That makes sense. And a couple of panels behind him here. A little more of that weirdo tech stuff. 
every once in a while, I feel like I'm getting a handle on the tech stuff. And then I got to do something like this. And it's like, are you sure? Are you sure about that? That kind of thing. But that is it for page two and three. I'll just put the whole thing up here. Uh, so, yeah, it didn't turn out too bad. You know, I mean, like the background. OK, looking at it here, it's not as bad as I thought. It just it, it, it does. It does kind of. It could be a little bit less eye-catching. Maybe it's mostly Fireburn and Shock Block blending in there. That's the problem. If you if you color it right, it won't be at least. So you just have to see how that goes. But um, yeah, pretty good. You know, it's that first flip in the comic, right? And I think that turned out all right. I don't believe I have another double page spread edit, uh, scheduled for this issue because that's. I mean, you know, there's getting self-indulgent, and then it's, there's it's getting a little ridiculous. Maybe for a, for a big fight issue. This is actually just to a, a couple of small fights. So, no, not so much. But, uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notifications. So what's going to happen next? Is it an up, another double page spread? No, but it's probably something else cool. It's always cool. So, yeah, go and uh, open up the description, follow the links, subscribe on my Patreon. That'll give you access to the Blood Force pages and these videos before they get uploaded to YouTube, usually a week or so in advance. That'll also give you access to any kind of behind-the-scenes stuff. There's uh, sometimes some stuff there. There's, there well, there's a bunch of stuff there left over from before. And then every once in a while something new gets uploaded. Uh, and while you're at it, you might as well go over to my Instagram and commission some Blood Force artwork there, because that's where you can do that. It's uh, commissions are now open. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.